Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright guys, what is going on? We're back in this chair, down in my lounge room, and I haven't been here for a while, but it feels nice, because I've got the day off. <laughs> and honestly guys, lately, my days off have been the only days that I can even fathom bringing the camera out and trying to make a video, but I do have some cool things that have been purchased in the last few days, and that is exactly what the title of this video is going to be about which is how I spent $7,000 in one week. Pretty fucking crazy, but before I do anything, I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're back. One there, one there. That feel when your flatmate has hidden the coffee cups and you've got to make a coffee in a beer uh, schooner. But that's all right because I need it. Now, what I was saying is that I've had a lot of cool purchases that has cost me $5,000. Well, what I neglected to say was that the first three and a half grand of the money that I spent was on bills. So actually, before I do anything, I'm gonna go grab those and tell you a bit of behind the scenes, you know, a bit of behind the scenes stuff. How much things cost to maintain a property or two properties in my case. Be back in a sec. Ah, so here is my little organizer. First, first one is ID stuff. Second one is this house. Anything to do with this house. Third one is my house on the Gold Coast. Fourth one is um, other stuff. And the fifth one is banking. So, Let's have a look. That one. That one. That one. And that is about it. So, so like I said before, I, I've got two properties. I've got one here in Alice Springs that I live in, which I've got a mortgage on. Also got my place on the Gold Coast, which um, I'm getting paid rent for, but that pretty much just covers the mortgage and a little bit of the body corporate fees. So I've got the remainder of those to pay I've also got rates over there, and I've got rates here as well. So insurances, man, fuck yeah, it doesn't end, I'll tell you. With that said, uh, for this place here, I paid two quarters of body corporate fees, $788 a quarter, cost me $1,576, which takes me up to the start of April. So that was 1600 bucks, just like that. What I didn't realize is that I'd never paid any rates for this property. I you know, I paid my body corporate fees, I paid my insurance, my, my water bill, but I never paid any rates and I didn't really think too much about it. And then, rudely enough, I got reminded that I had uh, four installments of rates due because obviously I've lived in this place for just over a year now. And they cost $326 per quarter, which means a total bill of $1,300 uh, in something sense, and that was due as at the 15th of November, which was about two months ago. So, uh, I paid it, $1,300, that paid all of my rates up until the 7th of April 2017, so both of these things are paid up to date, which is fantastic, but once again, it's another $1,300, so that was like nearly three grand just like that! And then we go over to the Gold Coast, and I got my water bill, which is $393.66, which I paid, and then I've got my body corporate fees. If you don't know what body corporate fees are, they're, if you live in a complex of, let's say, 20 or 40 units, every owner of each of the units will put a certain amount into a pool, uh, which is then used to pay for not only your building insurance, pays for maintenance of the property. Um, they've got clauses in there, so every, you know, it might be 10 years, the, the place gets repainted and, you know, revamped. It's not for free, because they've obviously paid for it, but the money's in the bank, so I know that that's going to happen in the future, which is good. And, you know, especially when I'm away from the property, I can't be there. A townhouse made sense, because it has the body corporate fees, the place is maintained, you know, the only thing I need to worry about is anything actually inside the property, which 
Luckily enough, um, the week before I took settlement of my Gold Coast property, the fucking air conditioner stopped working. So that was $2,000 to replace that. And thank God it happened a week before my settlement date because I didn't have to pay. The uh, previous owner paid. So thanks for that, mate. But regardless of that, so we got like eight fifty. We got four hundred. It's twelve fifty. Fifteen hundred. That's seven. No, fifteen fifty. That's twenty eight hundred plus thirteen hundred is forty one hundred. So that's it. Forty one hundred dollars. Four thousand one hundred dollars. Poof. Gone. Just like that. But obviously, I can't complain, and I'm not complaining because I knew from the start that this was all part of the major plan. And it's just, just the way it is. So, that was the first four, four and a bit grand. And then from there, you know what, I said to myself, fuck this, I've just spent $4,000 on shit that I ain't even gonna see. And um, I never, like if you know me in person, you'll probably know that I don't really buy too much for myself. Um, maybe a pair of shoes here and there, but usually I go to Kmart, I go to Target these days for my clothes and shoes, because I really don't give a shit. I don't care about the logos on the front anymore. Um, I like sort of plain stuff, and I like... Uh, I look for more of a fit than a logo now. But with that being said, I'd spent all this money, and I said to myself, nah, I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to treat myself. So that is exactly what I did basically bought everything I needed uh, for the next year, I hope, especially in Alice Springs weather. You know, I would love to be able to buy coats and to be able to buy jumpers and things like that, but man, and like, you know, jeans and boots and stuff. I really want a nice pair of boots, but fuck, it's so hot here. It's just unbelievable. Like, you, you can't do it. You can't wear uh, winter clothes until it gets to May or something like that. And then, you know, you're out of them by August. So, at the moment, it's between probably about 36 and like 42 degrees every day. And I'm inside right now, it's nice and cool. But honestly, especially when the cloud comes over, it gets humid. But you just get used to it. It's just the way it is in Alice Springs. You, you have to give up some things like the comforts of cooler weather uh, to, to earn a bit more money. And that's, what, that's just the way it is. But I'm going to go to my Westpac account and just check my, my credit card statement because I can't exactly remember how much I spent or what I spent it on, but I'll tell you guys. So I don't know if it looks like I'm naked at the moment, but I'm certainly not. We've got tights, we've got shorts. We're getting ready to hit some legs. As I said before, it's my day off, and um, really, my day off is, is the only day that I can fathom um, hitting a good leg workout because otherwise it's just too, too rushed. It's after my, my day at work, which is 12 hours, which is a fucking long time, and I just can't be bothered. So we're going to do legs today, but uh, with that being said, let's have a look. There was all that shit there. Then I had to pay $300 on fines to finally, like I got in this mood where I was like, nah, I'm just going to clear everything. So that's what I did. I had this, I had like $2,000 worth of fines that has taken me so long to pay off, it's unbelievable. I just end up just leaving the payment plan, don't pay it, it goes a couple of months, I'll get a letter in the mail saying that my, my license is suspended, I'll go back in, I'll have to pay a bulk amount, put me on another payment plan, <laughs> I'll leave that payment plan, they'll send me out another letter saying my, my license is suspended, and it went on and on and on. And <laughs> the last time I rang up, I wanted to put it on another payment plan, believe it or not, and she said, this is your seventh payment plan that we've put in place to clear these fines. Seven. And she said, I'm sorry, we can't do another one. You're going to have to pay the remainder. And it was 300 bucks. And I was like, fuck it. All right. Take my money. It's dead money. I hate paying fines. But at least they're gone now. So then I went shopping for myself. And Culture Kings was first. I had two purchases at Culture Kings. One for... 211 and one for 239 and the first one was six t-shirts which I selected they were my favorite t-shirts they're actually fucking sick and um, the second purchase was two pairs of shoes both on special uh, both Nikes and I love them to be honest 
the one thing about the Culture Kings purchase, which has kind of put a dampener on it, is the fact that the warehouse got burned down over the weekend. And there's now a big red banner at the top of their website saying that each, well, basically saying that they're not processing any orders online anymore. So until obviously they've restocked and, and found a new warehouse premises. And I still don't know whether my, my orders have actually gone through. I hope they have, but I haven't heard anything from them. And I think I went through the website as a guest. So I don't know if they can contact me or what, but I've got 500 bucks worth of shit that I want. So anyways, then I went over to my old mate Friesma's page, old Jim Stees. I haven't bought a Jim Stees singlet or a Jim Stees pair of shorts or anything in probably a good year and a half, even two years. Um, Jim Stees is, is a brand I've always supported. I'll always support my mate Freezy. And um, yeah, I said to myself, well, you know what, I need some tanks. I need some singlets to train in, so why not go back to Jim Stees? So that's what I did. I bought four singlets, 180 bucks, all good. So that was that. And then we went to the Nike store and I bought uh, a couple of pairs of shoes and three pairs of shorts for about 500 bucks. <laughs> and then I went to Golden Aesthetics, which is Artemis Dolgan's um, brand based in LA. I love that stuff. Golden Aesthetics, the stuff that I've bought in the past has kept its shape. It's been fantastic. Got nothing bad to say about it. And I bought a jumper and I bought a, a sleeveless hoodie and I think I bought a hat as well for another 180. So that was that. Then, what did we do? That was Nike, Jim Steves, Golden Aesthetics, Culture Kings, and then we went to the Adidas store. That was 540. So, fucking hell. How much did I spend? Five, 540. Hang on, fuck, no, I'm going to have to write this shit down. So I was like, four grand, let's just say, it was about four two for the uh, bills. Five forty at the Nike store, five hundred at Culture Kings, one eighty at Golden Aesthetics, one eighty at Gym Steez. A four. So we'll go four thousand two hundred on the bills, plus the three hundred for the fines is four thousand five hundred. Plus 540 on Adidas, 500 on Culture Kings, 180 Gym Steez, 180 Golden Aesthetics, 500 Nike, which equals about $6,400 total. And that's it. So that's basically all that this video is about, just telling you how I spent seven grand in a week. Because it doesn't normally happen, but what it's done, it's put my head in a nice place. I've got all these bills that were crowding my, my head space and I've been able to put them away. I've written paid, the date that it's paid, put them away. Yes, my bank account has suffered, but I really don't care. And there was no way I was going to spend 4,500 bucks on shit like that without spending a little bit on myself. So I probably went a bit overboard. I think I got, I, you know, I've got all that I need going forward and I can't wait to wear it to be honest so one thing we're gonna do is go down to the post office it's been it's been six days since I ordered all this shit I ordered it all on the same day obviously not all of it's gonna be there but I'm hoping for at least something so that's what we're gonna do but actually I'll tell you what before that before that let's go and purchase my final purchase of the week, which is going to bring us above seven grand, and it's probably my most exciting purchase of the week, and that is a flight from Alice Springs to Melbourne, which I'm going to book right now, because if I don't do it now, I never will. I've brought it up on the screen fucking every day for the last, like, two weeks, and I still haven't booked it. So, here we go. Return. Alice Springs to Melbourne. Wednesday the 15th of March, returning Monday the 20th of March, but we'll make that Tuesday because I want 
I want more time down there. So, Wednesday the 15th of March, 2017. Come back Tuesday the 21st of March, 2017. What do you think's on around that time, guys? That's right. It's the Arnold Classic! So, let's fucking book this shit so I actually go to the 2017 Arnold Classic Australia, which I've been meaning to go to for two years now, haven't done it, got to fucking get down there. I've got to see what these pros look like in the flesh, man. I've got to see what these, these guys look like. But to be fair, like the, the main reason I would have gone uh, two or three years ago would, would be to see these social media personalities. To be honest, guys, I'm not phased by them anymore. I know all the tricks behind all the you know, pictures and people use fake weights and people use Photoshop and you know, people, people just aren't who they say they are at the end of the day. And so the awe, you know, the awe around, um, around those guys and around the celebrity trainers and the, the personalities you see on Instagram and YouTube and that, the awe around them has, has dissipated a lot for me over the last couple of years. And I'm more focused on my own journey, to be honest with you. Uh, whether I actually become one of those fitness celebrities is yet to be, uh, yet to be known, but... I'll do my best, and if I do get in that position, I'm certainly going to keep my morals and keep my values, and keep keep what's important to me and what's important for me to portray to you guys, which is uh, truth, honesty, being real, being natural, and uh, representing that to the best of my ability. So, with that said, let's let's fucking get on this. Yep, that flight looks good. Yep, that one looks good. What the fuck? Raining. We've had such weird weather here lately, eh? Honestly. Anyways, the one thing that I hate about flying out of Alice Springs is the fact that it's 299 motherfucking dollars to get anywhere. So, the, literally the cheapest flights I can get like, doesn't matter when you book it, doesn't matter if it's six months in advance, two months in advance, $299 each way, economy with Qantas, so $598 uh, total, and, but that's fine, that's alright, I don't care, it's worth it. So we'll go, no car, no, don't want that, fuck off, Mr. Jake, I hate, I hate filling in this crap. Mr. Jacob McDonald, frequent flyers. Uh, yes, yes, I do have frequent flyers actually. I never use this shit, but I should. What's my number? Wrong frequent flyer number. Right. One nine two da da. What the fuck? Ah. Oh. All right, I won't have Qantas frequent flyers in. Travel insurance, nah. Reduce my carbon footprint, nah. All right, cool. So we're heading to Melbourne, just like that. Seven thousand dollars spent in one week. Fuck, I can't wait to go to Melbourne now. Yes, can't fuck wait. It's gonna be sick. I gotta try and get big as fuck. Too small for that place, man. Too fucking small. Alright. Mean. So, what's there left to do but to go to the post office and see what we got? So, I'll see you there. <sighs> Disappointing. What do we got? Certainly no clothes, and no shoes, but we do have banking shit, what do we got, don't tell me this is another fucking bill, I just paid them all, oh fuck me, rates, That one can wait. A 
another fine from South Australia. What's this? Oh, something else. Registration of my car runs out. When? In a month. Right, that can wait. What the fuck is this now? Honestly, man, this is just unbelievable. You can never, you can never catch up. You just can't. It's impossible. Fuck. <sighs> well, I guess times like these, you have a pre-workout meal, and then you go to the gym and forget about everything for an hour. Sounds good to me. Oh, fucking hell. All right, guys. I can't even hold my phone up. One leg workout in the books. We went hard, we went heavy. It was actually a day where I'm feeling weaker than what I normally would. Um, for example, front squats. I actually started on hamstrings for once. <laughs> Trained my hamstrings, which I'm happy about. I did five working sets on the lying hamstring curl. Then I went over to the front squat, barbell front squat. I wanted to do 100 kgs for my working sets, but I, I was weaker than, than I have been previously. So we went with 35 a side, which is 90 kgs, and did five working sets of 8 to 12 and then went to a leg press did 7 plates a side for 5 working sets of, of 12 to 15 and then after that I did a leg extension to really fucking fuck up the quads and I've just finished my 5th working set uh, with 75 kilo I think but uh, regardless of that it's been a week of spending a lot of money and I've just finished it with an amazing leg workout. So I'm gonna try and have, sh have a little shot of my legs here. Um, see what they look like. I'll twist, twist the camera around actually. Let's see if I can get them. Oh yeah. So that is the legs after a workout, currently. No calves have been trained in the last two years. I'm really, really ashamed to say, but they haven't. And I'd say I've probably trained hamstrings about 10 times in the last two years, so. My, legs work out, my leg workouts have been mainly compound and quad based movements, uh, but that's about to change. So, mark my words, that will change. So these, this is the leg now. Take you.